Okay, cool, man. Sorry about that. Nice to... Nice to... Talk. <laughs> Do you know why I started making electric skateboards? Because I'm super lazy as well, right? Like, why... Uh, why walk when you can... Go nice and quick? Yeah, I used to skate... Um, heaps as a kid. All through high school, basically, I was skateboarding. Actually, I just bought a skateboard today. I'm gonna build a a uh, double kick trick skateboard and start skating again, just just for fun. Yeah, I mean, fortunately, I never seriously hurt myself skateboarding. I mean, <laughs> that grass is a bit soft. All right, can I just get the shot and then we'll... <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> I was right, this stuff is slippery. Yeah. Lots of banged up shins, crashed and hit my head plenty of times. Um, but no broken bones, fortunately. <laughs> so you're, you're fully into your electric vehicles, huh? The Australian workplace... <laughs> It's a bit funny like that. I mean, I think sometimes people don't want to start at the bottom and work their way up. You know, people don't want to get a job flipping burgers and, you know, working at a service station. You know, they want to get a job earning 100K a year straight out of uni or whatever. So, and some people are smart enough and they can do that. That's great. But then you miss out on all of the uh, real world experience, right? If you don't start at the bottom and do something and learn a trade and learn on the job and, you know, have pride in your work. I used to make pizzas at one point. <laughs> I think when we were talking about our, like, performance specifications and rider profile, stuff, integrating all that data into a social network, I think is really interesting. And whoever can make something like that, that is universal across many different electric skateboards is gonna have a really interesting product. I think, <clears throat> I don't know how much time you spend on the electric skateboard builders forum, but it's getting pretty big. It's pretty huge now. And there is a user, like a, a user page there and someone's app like that, that collects data. And then if that's compatible with the Unity, which we believe a lot of people are gonna have and pass that data through into a social platform like the forum where people can do search queries, you know, what is the highest top speed ever? What is the most efficient build ever? And there'll be a complete database of information it's going to be really interesting yeah i'm going to be trying to develop our wholesale market um for the unity and and you know if you're starting up a company and you want to have the unity as well that's good because that's in line with what we're actually trying to do i think for inertia making electric skateboards and selling electric skateboards is good you know i like doing that but i think there's a bigger picture there where people like yourself, other companies that want really good, high quality, high performance stuff, but don't want to develop it themselves because it takes forever and it's expensive. I think that's where we're going to be positioning ourselves. So what I predict will start happening, a lot of the very big brands in longboarding, I believe they will start approaching electric skateboard startups. I believe that they will start looking for partnerships where they can get their brand into this new trendy product. Yeah, it's gonna be really interesting, actually, the next few years. Uh, I think downhill longboarding is a dying sport, unfortunately. I think that that's where the, the ground roots are. People who wanna go fast on a skateboard had to go down a hill. But now you just get an electric skateboard and you can go fast anywhere. So it 
it disrupts that sport completely. And then all of the big brands that became famous in downhill, they're either going to go broke because no one buys their product just to da downhill anymore, or they have to team up with electric skateboard startups. Batteries, like a lot of people think China is not the place, but man, if you go to Shenzhen, I don't know if you've been to China before, but every single vehicle that you look at is nearly electric. Like there's very few that aren't electric. And guess what? They need batteries, right? So where do the batteries come from? China. They are the best in the world at batteries by far. That's probably more of the line that we'll take. Um, try to service some of these big corporations that want um, solutions to robotics and autonomous vehicle problems. M Amazon warehouse, uh, food delivery. So yeah, I think that's where I'm most interested to go. Like generally lightweight, portable electric vehicles and, and mobility devices, stuff like that is, is probably where more of my interest lies. Uh, yeah, there will be. There'll definitely be a Raptor 3. You know, there's there's sort of like a roadmap of features where we go, okay, that's let's not develop that now. That's Raptor 3. This is Raptor 2. So we're still we're already doing that now. Um, yeah, there'll be a Raptor 3. <laughs> definitely. And an all-terrain style board at some point, yeah. When I finally solve all the Raptor 2 problems and uh, the supply chain is well oiled and functioning and I don't have to think about it on a daily basis. I'll have time to go back into my design work and make some cool shit. Yes, I guess. I, I mean, I design all the products. Yeah, I do all the all of the end product designs, like the, the aesthetics stuff is all my design. Yeah, well, I just taught myself. I, I'm not trained in that field. I just taught myself how to do it, so. Three weeks, three weeks should be enough of non-stop 3D design. I had a, a newborn baby boy and I was a stay-at-home dad and I was sitting around and I was bored. I was like, I'm so bored. This is the boringest job ever. I've got to find something to do. You know, I had this kid sh strapped to my chest, right? And I'm like, what am I meant to be doing? I, this stay-at-home dad thing sucks. I'm like, uh, I'll start. I'll just start designing stuff. And yeah, I taught myself 3D design and like, oh, let's start an electric skateboard company. So if in terms of the circuit board and the software that goes with it, that is basically ready now. Like we'll probably make a thousand of them. Our PCB factory's already done the first little batch so they know what they're doing. Um, it's basically now it's just up to us when we say, okay, order, 